Hey everybody, I'm Sam, I'm Caleb, and I'm Will, and, and we, we are Working Title! Will, car crash. <laughs> it only takes your legs. Guys, we are back. It is Death Note, Season 1, or just show, <laughs> Episode 4, Pursuit. Last on... The FBI is following Light. Light is getting tricked by L. And Light just got Shinigami eyes. He did. Or is it getting them? Yeah, that's about it. So guys, if you like this video, let us know your thoughts on episode four. Are you hyped that we're watching this show? I hope you guys are enjoying these reactions already. They are really fun to me. I hope they're fun to you. Uh, if you want to get these early access, go to Patreon. Um, check out some of the other content we have there. We've got some Studio Ghibli films already coming out. Um, we appreciate the support. Also, support the show. We are going to punch it. See ya. Bow! Has anyone seen Ryuk around lately? <laughs> Maybe he was serious about losing his death note. It was probably picked up by some human before he could get to it. No way! Then he'd be stuck there till the end of that human's life or until the death note was destroyed. That could <laughs> take a while. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I can't picture Ryuk doing something so boring. But you know what? I actually heard he was carrying two death notes. Seriously, why would he need to? It's me. I'll never understand that guy. <sighs> so He's playing the game. for receiving the eyes of a Shinigami is no more than half of my remaining lifespan. That's it, right? Yes. Well then, do we have a deal or not? Ryuk. This deal is... <coughs> out of the question. Huh? Nah. Psych, no. <laughs> My plan is to create an ideal new world free from evil and all criminals. And I intend to reign as a god in that world for a very long time. I might consider the deal if it lengthened my life, but not if I die sooner. Huh. I figured you of all people should know I wouldn't take this deal. Yeah, I still felt I should tell you that the deal existed just in case. Mm. Anyway, I've done my job. I need to complain Leon. For an emergency <laughs> transaction <laughs> later on. <laughs> I don't see More why than you could have this when we met. Or better yet, you could have simply included it in the instructions for the Death Note. Uh, good point. Uh... He's not the slightest bit daunted by the fact that I'm a Shinigami. He doesn't suck up to me, and he seems to have no problem giving me a hard time. <laughs> yeah. He's cold-blooded, man. Well, <clears throat> you sure there's nothing else you want to tell me ahead of time? <laughs> Shinigami? No, nothing else. <laughs> Probably. Really? <laughs> That's too bad. I might have seriously considered the deal if you'd offer me wings instead of eyes. Just the idea of flying around freely in the sky sounds very godlike. After all, Fucking it's been nerd. mankind's dream since antiquity to be able to fly. Anyway, if I keep bargaining for eyes and wings and whatever else, next thing you know I'm gonna end up becoming a real Shinigami. Though, who knows? I bet that could be pretty interesting. I wouldn't worry. Even without the eyes and the wings, you're already a worthy Shinigami. Hmm. The Shinigami realm is slowly rotting. It's an really octopus. And empty lives. And the reason we picture. still take human lives is because we're afraid to die ourselves. Jesus. I think I just figured out how to find the name of the guy who was following me today. Hmm. First. I need to know exactly how far I can go in terms of specifying the details of death. This should be interesting. Oh boy. What? <sighs> Bizarre behavior before they die? Could you be more specific? What do you mean? So they didn't just die from heart attacks? No, what I'm saying is they all died of heart attacks, but it wasn't quite that simple. Before one of them oh, died, God. he drew a pentagram on the wall of his cell using his own blood. The satanic he left a letter, but it doesn't seem to be a will or anything meaningful. And as for the third victim, he escaped from his cell and ran all the way to the staff bathrooms before he died. Huh. We can't release details of these men's deaths to the media. As far as they're concerned, these are just heart attacks. Oh. I have reason to believe that Kira was performing some kind of test using these criminals. And if that's the case, we don't need to be giving him the results if this information is leaked in public. 
right. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Can't reveal that his plan so is working. He's experimenting on his victims. Experiments are working. He's yeah. playing with people's lives as if all this was just a game. It's unforgettable. Man, wait till you find out it's your son. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. Like, he's really using criminals as test subjects. What is he trying to achieve? How specific can he be with his, like, Look at this his thing. choice of death? I think we're in luck. The results of yesterday's little test have already <laughs> been downloaded on a Draw all bloody pentagrams. These results are just as I expect. Kidnapping <clears> murder. Work for what I have in mind. With the first one, I wrote that he would die in front of the Eiffel Tower in one hour. Uh, However, everyone knows that it's physically impossible to go from prison in Japan to Paris, France in only one hour. Since this couldn't happen, he said he died of a heart attack in prison. The next was supposed to draw an exact picture of Elle's face on the prison wall. This also didn't happen. You can't draw someone you've never seen, right? Yeah. Makes sense. With the last one, I tried something slightly different. I specified that he would write a note that read, I know that Elle is suspicious of the Japanese police. To be honest, I actually expected this one to work, but it didn't end up happening. Which means, it's impossible to make someone write what they don't already know. Or, at the very least, it has to be the kind of thing that they could come up with on their own. Okay, okay, even okay. Even the death note can be <laughs> impossible. Even as we speak, he's probably trying to decipher all the clues I left for him. Especially that little note. That absolutely meaningless dying message. <laughs> Throw it off the track. Yeah. Time for the real thing. Real thing? Yesterday on the news, they said this drug addict tried to rob a bank but was unsuccessful. He attacked a few people and then ran away empty-handed. I'll use him. It's kind of last minute, but I'm sure I can find someone. I got a few people in mind. A few people? For what? You'll see. He's gonna have them Believe kill it or not, him. I'm actually a rather popular yeah. guy. Don't worry, Light's a popular guy. Hello? Fake Mikasa? Uh, I was about to say that. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, I was just like, can he write it and be like, this person will get shot in the head? And then, like, a cop comes in and, like, gets in a fight with the dude, and then he gets shot in the head. You know what I mean? See, I feel like that would work because it sounds probable. In the yeah, like, within reason of, like, their aspect, you know? Or, like, that's like what's like, going on. That's weird because it's, like, controlling somebody else, too. Yeah. It's not just one person. He's still following me. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely just a high school. a waste of time if you <laughs> wasn't him. I'm a dad. Where's my kid? Where's my son? Definitely not FBI. Light! Oh, dude, he's playing this girl. A date. <laughs> it's a date, no matter how you look a at girl. it. A girl. I'm sure even my stalker will see it that way. But this isn't just a date, is it? You said that you'd figured out a way to find your stalker's name. So tell me, what do you plan on doing? Huh? Come on. Didn't you see what I wrote in the death note? I explained it in great detail. No. Doing that will take all the fun out of it. <laughs> case, uh, just be patient. He doesn't spoil himself. Ryuk is literally an audience member. <laughs> Not at all. Anyway, I haven't been to Spaceland since you and I. I'm so excited. And the best part is I have you and all to pulls. myself. And he pulls. Ridiculous. Yeah. It's unreal. Uh, <laughs> random girl texts her. She's already grabbing his arm. Dates on his day off. A normal kid, just a hard-working senior in high school. Chief Yagami's son, Light Yagami. No cause for suspicion. I'll be done with my surveillance today, and that'll be it. Even funnier, he intentionally is there late, and the girl's like, Oh, it's okay, it's okay! <laughs> Yeah. Did you say you weren't going out until entrance exams were over? Yeah, they're That's yeah, the worst yeah. tailing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he sat right behind them. Excuse me, I'm stalking you. He's been trailing in like an eye shot view the whole time. And then he's like, I'm just gonna sit behind the people. What the fuck are you I'm doing? I'm wearing a big trench coat. This is uh, an FBI agent. <laughs> and we're in Japan too, so it's probably some white dude. Like, yeah, white I dude. do not blend in at all. <laughs> Imagine Caleb walking down the street following some, like, Japanese student. They're gonna be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar. Oh, shit. Jimmy. It's him. He's here. Jimmy. <laughs> I will kill Jimmy today. It's the first time that comes to him. No one's in the way. Everything should go smoothly. We'll see. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Stay in your seats unless you want to die! <laughs> Oh, that's Jackie. You gotta be 
kidding me? All right, driver. You listen to me. I know you've got the number for Space Lion's office on you. Call him. Okay. What the fuck this, is that? This is Sasaki. Have a female staff member bring all the Space Lion's cash from yesterday. I know it's there. Have him meet us two bus stops from the park. What an absurd request. Would be at all. But try I am taking over Disney I World. I kill every one of these passengers. Also, bring me an order of cornbread. I love cornbread. Yeah, don't be scared. As soon as he turns around, I'm going to grab the gun out of his hand. Don't be stupid. That's risky. If it comes to that, I'll take care of it. But it's okay. We don't have to pass notes back and forth. As long as we keep it down, he won't be able to hear our voices over the sound of the engine. Do you have any proof that you're not his accomplice? Why should we trust you? <laughs> yes, I've read about this before. The first hijacker comes in like he's working alone. Meanwhile, the second one pretends to be a hostage and stays in the very middle oh, just in case Oh god, he's gonna trick him. This little weasel, he's gaslighting. Do you really think he is one? Right. I have no choice. I'm sure Light Yagami is a killer. If he was, he could just kill this guy with a heart attack. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> ah! No. Now he'll never remember his name. I see. Hell needed an outsider, so we got the FBI to investigate anyone connected to the Japanese police. His name is Ray Penber. Penber? Huh. I trust you. That's right. This guy. His face was all over the local news just a few days ago. Some junkie he tried to rob a bank and ended up killing three people before he got away. He's extremely dangerous. We're safe. He won't shoot us. In fact, he's not gonna do anything. Oh shit. Uh, Don't move, you little punk! What the hell is that? Uh, smart ass! You guys were planning something back here, weren't you? Damn it. If he sees that note from before, he'll find that the light was planning to jump him and take his gun away. What does it say? I love you or something? <laughs> Plans for a date, huh? Stupid kid! Okay. Woo! Gotcha. That was That's, the trigger. How, how, that was the death the death trigger. Ryuk. Ryuk. Who, who the hell are you? You in the very back. What do you think you're doing? Don't mess with me! Can you see him? Oh, even back then. Right before death, I think, didn't they say that? You're talking to me. So you mean you can actually see me right now? Stay there, you! You get away from me, you freak! This isn't good. He's hallucinating. Everyone, get down! Oh, I get it. That little <laughs> note that Light accidentally dropped was actually torn from the pages of the death note itself. Oh! This guy into touching the paper. He's the only other one. Who oh, he touched the paper, me. that's why. That's so smart. Get away! Ah! Ah! Oh. Sorry. Shinigami, so I'm afraid your bullets aren't gonna be. What the? Bro! I can't shoot him! <laughs> Why does he look like that? So scared! I don't like Fish Island's Ryu. Anyone who touches the death note can see me. <laughs> it's not just this way. The death note is finished, or I see you die, whichever comes first. And a Shinigami can't die from being shot. I've said all these things at one time or another. Well, he is the top ranked student in the country. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. He even used this hijacking as a way to get the guy following him to willingly give up his name. It's out of the bus! Let me off! Oh. Terrible date. <laughs> yeah. This poor, this poor girl's mortified now, and he's like, <laughs> Why is it like how he's sitting? He's so evil. 11.45 on the dot. Everything went just as I planned. Boards the 1131 Spaceland bound bus near the eastern entrance to the park, holding a loaded gun and attempts to hijack the bus. He sees a horrific phantom and empties his gun trying to kill it. Terrified, he flees the bus. Immediately afterwards, at 11.45, he dies when struck by a car. How? I just wrote a short story depicting the guy's death. And he... 
Elle even, or Lay even participated in helping the, the Phantom part. Never fails. What the fudge? You will be next, Ray Pember. Pember! Ray Pember! <laughs> How was she gonna kill Ray Pember? <laughs> that was episode four. Was four. Four. Pursuit. Pursuit. Quick one. Yeah. yeah but a felt, lot. Yeah, it felt really fast compared yeah. to the other ones. I feel like they've all felt really fast personally. Yeah. But, okay, that's not true. The first three felt like a lot happened. This felt like a lot happened, but it was really quick. Yeah. At least for me. Yeah. Um... Well, we got our answer. He did not choose the eyes yet. Yet. Yeah. But it's an option. It's still on the table. Yeah. I mean, sure. I, I'm curious what that process looks like. Like, if he is afraid... If he is afraid that he is, like, on the verge of death. Or, like, by being threatened by someone. And he has the book on him. Yeah. Can he be like... I want them I, Ryuk, I want them now. I and now. Gets, and gets them instantly. Or is it, like, a process? You know what I mean? Yeah, so. like if you have to like go through multiple steps, and that that would make it even worse because, like I said, emergency transaction. Like, can it be something on the spot? Like, L's on to me. I need the eyes right now. So, so if I come in contact with him, I can look at him. It's over. Yeah. Or, or if he's gonna be thrown yeah, off and have to push back steps because he can't do an immediate kill of somebody of importance or. Yeah. Of non-importance. Yeah, I mean, in my mind, I would think it would be something like if it, there is a moment where L is challenging Light, and it's like, Kira, if you are real, meet me in the mall, you know, mm-hmm. courtyard or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he's like looking around, and he's like, "Well, granted, L could just be like an alias. His name could be like Raul Menendez or something. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, we, we we wouldn't know if his name has an L in it. That's a good example. But." <laughs> I like that thing. Yeah. Call of Duty, shout out. Shout but, out. um, so, it might not matter, but in, like, let's just say his name did start with an L, or the last name was L, if he was, like, in a room and could deduce who was who, be like, okay, it's probably one of these three people who's watching me right now, and then gets the, the Shinigami eyes right then and there, so he can just be like, dies at, you know, it's 7.14, dies at 7.15, right now, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um... We also got some testing ground because he wanted to see, like, how specific you could get with the murders. Um, I I didn't want to bring it up either because I couldn't remember at what point you learned that you can kind of do more than just the heart attack. In the the first episode, I'm pretty sure it does say, like, they do talk about if you don't... If you don't specify, right to specify it will yeah, be specifications. Just, yeah, the default is a heart attack after um, a couple minutes. Yeah, uh, well, that, and that's well, like they was... didn't touch on it after that because he would only go into heart attacks. Yeah, so uh, he never went for that option right off the bat, which to me was actually like one of my big like that's a little weird. Like, well, to, yeah, uh, it, it to me it would have made sense because like a serial killer has an mo, like they <clears throat> they do things in a specific way. Yeah, so like. I feel like if he was smart enough to cover his tracks, which, like, he's pretty damn smart, don't get me wrong, but he's not, like, perfect. Yeah. So I guess you could say this was his flaw, but, like, I would switch it up, like, every single time. I'd be like, this person gets a heart attack, this person gets stabbed by an inmate next to him, this person, yeah. you know, you know, whatever, loss of blood from, like, an accidental cut in the <laughs> bathroom or something. Like, whatever. Um, well, I just realized that it actually technically does make sense, and you kind of pinned it perfectly the other day when you're like his downfall is that he's prideful and he has a huge ego so if he's a genius why would he not do the things that are very obviously things that will conceal him and it's because he wants to declare himself he was anticipating people would learn about him because what is the fun in becoming the god of this world without being recognized yeah Yeah. and he and that's the whole reason he didn't end up taking the shinigami eyes because he's like i want to rule this world for a very long time and be known as god (laughs) so uh um, he's insufferable (laughs) he is what so one of the things that's interesting too kind of jumping backwards because this is like the beginning beginning of the episode was that all the other shinigamis were talking about where ryuk has been yeah he's been gone for a while and that he might have lost his death note again. And if he does, he can't come back till that human is dead. Mm-hmm. So he is stuck on Earth. 
yeah. until this is done. But then one of them brought up a great point. I heard that he has two death notes. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that means he could drop one and leave. Yeah. And like drop one and go back to the Shinigami world. But I feel like Ryuk is playing more of a game than just entertainment. Like yeah. there is something more that he is after in this endeavor. And we, you know, I have no clue what that could be. Um, I know, I can't remember his last episode or the episode prior, I did spitball the whole like turning at light into Shinigami and like taking his place because like these guys can almost seemingly never die. But it also, he also, Ryuk said that they are afraid to die. Because it's, like, inevitable and their world is, like, yeah. collapsing around yeah. them. But it's, like, they keep extending their lives by killing people. But who knows? Maybe he's, like... Maybe, again, I'll say it. Maybe he's trying to get him to take his place. Because he dropped that today. He's like, oh, you know, you would be a great Shinigami. Or you're already better than most of the Shinigami I've ever encountered. Or something like that. Like, that's what Ryuk told Light. So, I'm still kind of wondering if this is some type of, like, play for Ryuk. Because I would imagine that he is damned to a, a fate similar to a human death note holder. You know, like, they can't go to heaven or hell. They're just stuck. They just are dead and stuck. Or You know, I don't know if that means they're stuck in a, in a place between places, or do they just die and become nothing? And, I, like, it would be interesting if Ryuk somehow could manage to swap places with him. Yeah. Like, he could become a human and, you know... Light to try and keep his pursuit of goddom would become a Shinigami. Yeah, also, why is it so special to have two death notes in the first place? Like, is it hard to get that? Yeah, I know in the first episode, he mentioned that he had lost it, and they were like, oh, the big man already let you get another one. Like, how did you fuck up already? So... Did I actually lose it with yeah. the boy? But also, who is that? Like, who is in charge? Like, they made it seem like they were talking to big God. God. Yeah, they made it seem like they were talking to God, but I don't know. Yeah. They never, like, name-dropped who it was already. Yeah. And we don't have, have any names. We just saw a couple ones. We saw one with a squid head. There was a bird face. One that had, like, Native American, like, headpiece. There was a golden one. With a golden skeleton with, with a like, diamond eyes. <laughs> There's my, uh, my Adam moment. Did not remember him even being in the show. Yeah. Like, just one of those things where I, I forget things about this show. And when I saw him in the preview, I was like, do we get to meet him? And I saw that. I was like, damn, episode four. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. So, yeah. once again, I have not finished the show. There are yeah. many episodes I have yet to see. But, um... So, Light tested six murders Yep. to, like, try and figure out a new... Like, he did a test to try and figure out how to find that FBI agent's name without, um without getting the Shinigami eyes. So... To see, did, like, the limits of... Yeah, of the Death Note. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. limits of the Death Note. So he did six murders. Three of them were heart attacks. Three of them, initially, were thought to be heart attacks. And then the other three were... Some guy ran to a staff room and had a heart attack. Yeah. The other one wrote a note that was seemingly nothing, but L seems to think it says, L, do you know? And then cut off. We didn't get to read the rest. Yeah, we didn't see the rest. And then the last one, he wrote a pentagram in blood on the wall. Yeah. And then he explained that the other three that had heart attacks, one... I don't know if I'll be hurt, but whatever. My car... Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so one, he asked to draw L's face. But... <laughs> bitch. The, the Figure your life out, man. Okay. One, he asked to draw L's face, and he couldn't do it because he didn't know what L's face looked like, so that didn't yeah. matter or didn't count for anything. Yeah. The other one, he told to die in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris... <laughs> but that was impossible, so the guy ran as far as he could within the prison and then died with a heart with a heart attack. And then, what was the last one? There was one more. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I thought that was five. I thought it was like three successes, like almost successes to like learn new things, and then the other two were just straight heart attacks, okay. I think. 
I think you covered him. I think it's the L yeah. face and then run to Paris. I thought there was one more that he tried. Yeah. Bathroom pentagram and the writing. Yeah. yeah. And then I think the other two were the... Were the attempts that didn't... Yeah. That didn't yeah. work. Whatever. If I missed one or we missed one, say in the comments. But so basically he learned that you can really have ultimate control within reason. Yeah. So like you can't have someone... Oh, no. He was... The one was... He tried to have someone write something out, I think. I thought. I thought there was It was one... information. Uh, one was like... Something about L. The, one the was L's was face. Also about L. But then there was a, a third one that was writing about something that he wouldn't have known. It was like write sure. down... Was it write down something about L's name? But he didn't yeah. know who that yes. was or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was the sixth one. Okay. Um... So, but anyways, he, he knows now that the Death Note can kill anybody with, with very specific parameters as long as it's possible or it's something that's in them, within their mind of knowing or being able to, like, um, come to the conclusion on their own. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, because the one guy wrote a note about being afraid of Kira. Right. That's what because it was. Because he knew who Kira was. Because he knew who Kira was. But the other one, he tried making them write something else and they just wrote, like, gibberish or something. Yeah, and it, it gives a little, like, a frame for him to work in now. Like, a ballpark that he knows he has boundaries for. So when he goes forward making, like, operations, he knows to what extent he can start to play. And it, I guess it was good that he used the prison because it's a mini Earth, per se. Like, a mini It's a microbiome. Land. Yeah, it's a microbiome where you can test. And now he can do that on a grander scale, which is what the whole second half of the episode was, for sure. But, yeah, yeah you, you definitely can't do things that is outside your own ability to understand it unless you can come to your conclusions with info and then yeah within reason phys in physical space yeah and uh, and then yeah he that i guess that's when he begins the master plan and he says to ryuk i know how i'm going to get the, yeah, learn yeah. about this fbi guy so just backtracking for a second i'm curious as to like what does it mean in like the realm of possibility so like the guy the guy in prison that's trying to go to Paris, he physically is not able to leave the prison. Yeah. So it's impossible for him to get to somewhere. Yeah. But, on the other hand, what if I write on the death note... There isn't a time frame, right? Like, you could write it for whatever. Like, I could say, you know, uh, December 24th, 2022, correct? I think so, yeah. So if you write that and say, I want him to die in, in Paris in front of that, and it's like a free citizen... Like, somebody that has the autonomy to, like, leave and go as they please. Yeah. Would they make that trek there, whether it's, like, they go on, like, a Europe tour and, like, make their way and they just happen to meet Paris on Christmas Eve? Yeah. Or is it, like, like if they weren't... Because this is random. If they weren't financially able to pay for a ticket, would they be able to go? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so would, like you be, what, would you be like, forced to get there by any means just to die? Well... And I, I, but it seems like yeah. if it's out of their possible framework, they can't do it. Because, like, in my mind, if it, if it could be anything and it wouldn't stop them, then, like, the dude who was in prison could have broken out of prison and gotten there. But they said he said he wrote it within an hour. Yeah, like, actually, like, he probably ran through he the died. prison within an hour, and that's as far as he could get inside the prison in an hour before he died. So what, so what, if, so what if he wrote it and was like... He's going to leave on, you know, December 1st to go to Paris, and then by December 24th at 7 a.m. he's going to be in front of the Eiffel Tower and dies. Like, is he going to be able to, like, break out of prison and then, yeah. however, by any means necessary, get across I guess, the world? I, I guess it's that, like, within reason thing, so he can get as far as he can, and if, like, financial reasons he just simply can't pay, he's going to die of a heart attack. Like, I think it's as... And I think that's what this episode was, was the testing ground. He, he wrote something that was a little bit more realistic to see, like... Even though it went successfully, like, we, we don't get to see, like, if it was an unsuccess. But let's say it didn't... It, it got far, but maybe because... Let's just spitball that elk, or he can't take part in the manifestation of it. Like, today we learned he, at a light, dropped the paper and helped with the part that was manifest the phantom. Hmm. But it didn't say, like, Light was going to be a part of that. It just said he will see a phantom. So let's say Light doesn't help with that. I would assume the guy just dies on the bus right there because how else is the phantom going to, like, happen naturally? Yeah. It, unless, unless 
say light doesn't throw the paper onto the ground, maybe the guy comes and like empties light's pockets, and that's how it accidentally happens. So I just don't know how much it relies on the person that's being forced to die, yeah. or like forcing himself to the death point, or how much of it will just be nature coming and helping with that manifestation, just like the truck hitting that guy the second death on episode one. Yeah. You know, I don't know how much everything plays into it. Yeah, or this episode, the, the, the dude literally hops off a bus and then a car just happens to be driving next to him. Exactly. Yeah. Like how much is it the truck's responsibility to get to that point? Like, how does that help? Yeah. You know You know what's interesting, too? I always would have thought um, when this show is, like, first introduced, I would have thought that the Shinigamis had played more of a realm or played more of a role in, like, the actual death of the person. You know what I mean? Like... I would have imagined initially, like when we first started the show, or this is what I thought was going to happen. Like, if Re- if you know, Light writes down this guy's going to get hit by a car, Ryuk is going to fly to that car and then influence the car to go that way. Mm-hmm. Whether it be to like do something that would like give them a chill or like you know like push their arm, and they're like, oh my god, like and they just jerk, like they had a muscle spasm and it makes them hit. I would have thought there would have been more of a realm than just like the happenstance of the world, just kind of plays out in your favor yeah. and hap- you know goes the way it's written. I had another thought on the whole specifications of death and murder, but I can't remember at this very moment. Well, I think that... On the specifications of murder? That, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it looks like they can be pretty pre- specific. specific. specific but, oh, but even like... Okay, sorry. I remember what I was going to say. But even going back to like the realm of which how impossible or possible it is for some people to do things like okay the dude was a drug addict I'm not saying it's impossible for him to get a gun and I'm not going to like completely like judge the world and be like oh how accurate is this because like and I mean to my thought I I would imagine that Japan is like super gun control heavy I know it's like like impossible to get guns in Japan yeah so I don't know even back when this was made I think I don't know if this is accurate to that or if this is just supposed to be like if that's supposed to be something where it's like just imagine that a criminal has easy access to a gun but like you know what I mean like if you would have told me the guy wasn't a drug addict he was a like mob boss or hitman or a gangster of some source like like, yeah or Yakuza whatever like that would make sense that he has a gun in that moment but just being a drug addict like I just if he had a knife that would have been more of the wrong possibility like I feel like it would probably be pretty hard to get a gun yeah so how much is it like because when Light was talking about it he said it's physically impossible to get from Paris to there in an hour yeah so that was like literally an impossible task so he just has a heart attack so I wonder if it's like if it's not physically impossible it will happen maybe if it's like gonna be difficult you know like oh like you know if this person because it seems like it controls your actions so like you know for the the example of like getting to Paris where you don't have money for it like you fucking you know take a loan out <laughs> like they just go and take a loan out and then buy a ticket to get yeah, a plane I must get to Paris yeah to die I, I just think that's kind of like that's insane like you could realistically you're right about the whole like December thing yeah, I mean, at least like we, as far as we are aware, because he controlled this guy's day. Like he didn't just decide his death. He said, "You're gonna go to this bus." Like he's the he is God, God in that moment. He is controlling what this man is actually doing from like the beginning of the day till his death. Yeah, which is pretty insane. So like, if you really wanted to waste space on the book, how much of a person's life could you control? And like that'll be interesting going forward. Like how much of the people we're watching might be influenced going forward. Like, what if we'll come across the character that has, like, three episodes of progress just to die, and then you learn it was all, like, hell, you know? Yeah. Spoiler. But, like, there is a potential to now see that because of what we just witnessed. Yeah. Um, my last two thoughts. Can you... Okay. Two things I have questions about. You don't have to answer if you don't know. Okay. Something I'll throw out for Caleb and I. One. Well, face just in case I'm bad at bluffing. One. What happens when the book runs out? He's smirking. Stop. (laughs) Focus. So what happens when the book runs out of pages? What do you do at that point? Does it magically get replenished? Or do... Are you just done? Are you not able to? Because you brought up, like, 
using how much of a page could you use, like, instead of just writing, like, <laughs> Sam, 9 o'clock, you know? So, how much does, you, like, do you have a limit to what you can do with the Death Note? Or, the limit to the amount of what you can do, rather. Yeah. And, my other thing is, can you put your own name in there? Mm. Can you, can, I, there's no reason to, I, I don't have a reason why you should be able to, uh, you know, yeah. To like uh, dark really to, quick to destroy like yourself much darker than I thought <laughs> to unalive yourself like in Minecraft to or Minecraft yourself <laughs> but, like I don't know why but I'm just curious if you could yeah I mean th- th- those are good questions I I, I definitely am not going to respond <laughs> that's fine yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine but, uh, and could I use it on myself <laughs> um, so anyway because <laughs> like I was I, the reason why that I, that came up was like. So we know that just touching a page from the death, the the death note, yeah. could make someone see um, Ryuk. But doesn't that also mean that they're damned to not? Well, here's another question, just to maybe counter one of yours. <laughs> what do you have to use a pen? Can you use a pencil and erase it after? Didn't he use a pencil at one point, or is it always a pen? I don't. I don't remember. I don't know. I think he uses like a ballpoint pen. Also. When you touch the page, do, didn't they? Didn't Ryu say that you like also know every single person that you killed, or you know about it, or something like that? I can't remember. If like it's not just you see Ryu, you also know about every murder that was committed. Oh, so I that guy had saying. like information overload or some shit. Yeah, yeah. But it's like big monster. Why do I know that this kid has killed all these people? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel that. Yeah. Um, but you like, might be right about that. That's I, what I'm I thought not, they said. I'm not. I'm not. I can't remember. Maybe I'll see it when we start to yeah. edit these, but um, you are 100% right about at least seeing the monster, which we did see today. Yeah, well, but seeing the monster... But that could also help with causing... It's like, ah! it's like, I know about all these people that are dead, also I see a big ghost. Holy fuck, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Uh, when we, as we go, because I'm sure the show will help remind us of certain rules, so I'm just gonna let that sit until the show reestablishes that. As a as a potential, because I don't remember, but under that presumption, we could assume because L's killed. I mean, Light's killed so many people at this point. So imagine seeing a ghost, and then all of a sudden, just knowing that all these murders are under someone else that's under on the bus. this one dude that you're looking at as well. However, the bus. he didn't call out Light about it, so yeah. who knows? Um, yeah. So one thing too, I'm curious about is. Why why do we need to kill the FBI agent at this point? Because, like, he's basically, um, he's cleared himself. Mm-hmm. Like, if this is the Among Us lobby, we're trying to figure out who's the imposter. Light is in the clear. Cause, Light's safe. Because Light, Light is safe. Light scanned. Light med scanned. Bay. Light went on a date with his e-girl. Why is it an space. e-girl? She looked normal. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, to, spending, to be fair, spending the Among Us Light theme. doesn't know that he's clear. Yeah, the guy, the guy said to himself, "Light Yagami's clear," but I get, doesn't know. That. I get that, but I'm saying like, again, his ego and pride are going to change things a bit. But I would imagine that if the dude's been following him for a while and hasn't seen anything weird because he's just been going to school, home, all that stuff, and then he added a date in there, he probably clears himself at that point. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, me as a reasonable person would sit there and the way the FBI, you know, Pember or whatever his name was. Ray like, Pember. Like, the way he thought about it, I was like, oh yeah, I would come to that same conclusion. Well, perhaps he doesn't kill him right away. True. Perhaps when he says, I'm going to kill you, Ray Pember, it's more the fact that Light doesn't like to be challenged, but he knows it's too obvious to do it now. So well, maybe it's more of a declaration of, I'm going to kill your ass. Not now, but you've already caused treason to your god. I'm going to kill you one day. As opposed to, I'm going to kill you right now while the FBI is watching me. But... <laughs> he's, just a, he's just a part of Light's little game now. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. is He can control his life. So what if he's like, you're going to go back to the police station and you're going to like blow up the police station. <laughs> like, you're going to go to the bomb and just possible. murder everyone. It's possible. <laughs> and hey. And then he just knows how to make a bomb and then runs into the police station. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. Well, Mike knows how to. He can be like, hey, God, this yeah, I, I, I yeah. forgot he knew how to make Why does he know but, how to make bombs? Listen, this, this episode showed the potential of how much you can manipulate people now. 
And now we have we don't have just a drug dealer. We got an FBI agent with access to a lot of things. He's like, you're going to go home and assassinate. Sure. Someone. I mean, we're we're going to find out to what extent Ray could be manipulated. You're for, going to blow up the this, this police. Is, this is the gateway drug of manipulation today. That we just learned how to enter into full evil. <laughs> Our friend is on Xbox for reference. <laughs> I don't know why I was funny. Because his avatar is funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, just knowing him, it's pretty funny. Also, most important part of the episode, Light has secret Riz. <laughs> Unfathomable, <laughs> egotistical Riz. He literally just woke up and was like, yo, we're going out. And she's like, okay. You want to go to Spaceland? And she was like, okay. Shows up late. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to have a great time. Grabs his arm, hops on bus. Yeah, we'll still like, probably call buddy. him back. We'll still probably call him back after this traumatic moment. Why are you making that He's, he's a touchy fellow. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Um, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I call Riz. Fun episode. Fun episode. Was it fun? Yeah. No, I didn't have a it's lot of fun, fun. for I was me. Really I had so much fun. It was fun it was for not, me. This so innocent fun. man is going to get murdered. I say we jump into the next one. So guys, make sure you leave a like on this video. Let us know your thoughts on L's, I mean Light's tactics today. Is he the fullest of fool manipulators? Is he just the greatest Fortnite emoter? Let us know. We'll see you in the next video. Punch it. K-Max shit. Why is it a new Chiba? He is not